In this video, I'm going to take this piece of sugar maple and turn it into a bowl. Hey, wait, stop this video. This is a story about how to turn a bowl into a platter. Well, there was a force design change. Stay tuned. I think you're going to enjoy this video. You might even learn some new techniques along the way. But hey, let me introduce myself. I'm Frank Perone, and my passion is wood turning. Use a ruler to measure around the blank to center the faceplate. Then draw a line around the faceplate so you don't lose its position. Here, I'm using a 6-inch faceplate. I can't stress how important it is to use as many screws as possible when fastening the faceplate. I'm using 8 inch and a half deck screws. Make sure the blank is tightened to the spindle. Here, I give it a good spin and then lock it down. I take my carbide cutter and start to bring the blank into round. You can see how out it is. It looks like I'm cutting air, but I'm gently hitting the high spots. Reposition the tool rest and start leveling out the face of the blank. I like to use a straight edge during the leveling process. I'll do this a few times. Always remember, the outer edge of the blank is moving much faster than the center, so keep moving your tool across the blank so you get an even cut. Once the blank is level, I use a pencil to mark the location and size of the mortise that will receive my over chuck. Here I'm using a 1 8 inch parting tool to make the cut. Once the mortise is cut, I'll use a skew to put a clean finish cut on the blank. Then follow up with 180 and 220 grits sandpaper. I like to pre-fit my chuck to make sure it's snug before reversing the blank. Now I mount the blank to my Nova Chuck. Now with the blank secured, it's time to core it out. With a lot of projects, you could become overconfident. That's what happened to me. I wound up shearing off the side of the bowl. Unfortunately, I didn't record this. It would have been nice to see it in slow motion. But this is what makes wood turning so awesome. I went from having a bowl to a really nice platter in less than 10 seconds. What's better than that? So I finished sanding my new platter, and then I'm going to apply a liberal coat of walnut oil. I let that sit overnight, and then I give it a quick coat of beeswax. I hope you enjoyed this video, and it inspires you to make something today. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.